Powell, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-P-O-W-E-L-L. And you were working here at the campground? At the... I just got here early, well, just before this happened. Uh, someone banged on the door when I was trying to clock in, and um, I'm going, who's banging on the door? Because everybody knows the code to get in. And then I look out, and then I start seeing, you know, the um, first responders lining up and uh, found out over the radio that a plane had crashed right in front of our campground. And was the campground busy this morning? No. Is there a lot of no. uh, people here? Well, there's we're like half full right now, so there's not a ton of people in the campground. And there wasn't, I don't know if any other witnesses, uh, except other than Donnie, one of our employees, that says she saw it happen. I'm sure you've seen the plane at this point. I've seen uh, the plane, and um, it's got two damaged wings, so I don't know if they might have hit the bluff or exactly how the crash happened, but it looked like it stayed upright. And all the occupants, there was three occupants on board, and all three of them were able to get out. and. I heard from the medics that they're cleared and they're not, they don't have to go to the hospital, so everybody's safe. Has anything like this happened before here? <clears throat> Absolutely not. And how long have you been working here? Uh, a little over four years. Well, thank you very much. You're I certainly welcome. appreciate it. Nope. Matt Newland, last spelling, N-E-W-L-I-N, and I'm a fire captain with the city of Carlsbad. And if you could tell us where we are and what occurred. We are at the entrance to Carlsbad State Beach uh, at the campground and there was a small single engine four seat airplane that lost engine power and the pilot successfully landed it on the beach right in the surf zone. And how many people on board? Any injuries? There were three people, three souls on the aircraft and all three of which were assessed by my fire personnel and were not. They elected not to go to the hospital, so drawing the conclusion that they're not injured. They landed it on the beach because they lost power, so that was their that was their their decision on the best place to put it. Unfortunately. And if you could touch on the high tide at this time and and the difficulties that may have presented in the process of landing it. All right. So well, the process of landing it was again he was successful in an emergency landing in partially on the on the beach and partially in the water. Uh, it is high tide and it's working on transitioning towards low tide. So total slack tide today with the king tides not till I think after 1 p.m. So. Uh, the state, California State Parks, is the incident commander. We're in unified command with them. And they are the ones making the decisions on how to get the airplane from its current position off of the beach and dealing with all the environmental impact and everything else with an airplane that's in the water. And there is some significant damage to the wings. Is that from after the crash and not sustained during the right. crash? When we first arrived, when my engine first arrived on the scene, the airplane appeared to be completely flyable condition other than it was laying on the beach so all of the damage that it sustained is from the wave action that's beating it up pretty good. Is there any concern that the plane will be pulled by the waves? I don't believe so. so currently it's high tide transitioning to low and with the plane not moving and in the position that it is the understanding is that it's going to remain there until the state comes up with an operation plan to remove it from the beach. And so that is a state beach it's uh... we are on Carl on California State Beach. This is this stretch of the beach is owned by the state. Gotcha. Anything you'd like to add? Well, thanks. Thank you.